हेलो एवरी वन सो टुडे लेट एस कंटिन्यू लर्निंग इजी बी आई एंड इन दिस इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू बेसिकली डू सम एनालिसिस एंड इट कम्स टू लेट एस एपिक्स एंड स्टोरीज नाउ यूजली वेन यू आर वर्किंग विद लेट एस एपिक्स यू मे वॉन्ट टू नो बिकॉज एपिक इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एपिक इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एपिक एपिक इज नथिंग बट लाइक अ बिग चंक ऑफ वर्क which is basically nothing but you know a very big story and usually to deliver one epic you need like more than one sprint so let us say you have one item let us say you know uh to to let us say launch an android app by uh, launch an android app with login functionality or do this to that so basically some big features right i mean of course you can have more levels in jira of course if you're using advanced road maps but let us focus on epics and stories now as a manager as a project manager you may want to analyze uh, what is what is let us say the status of uh, all the epics or uh, maybe all the story stories that are under my epic so maybe you just want like a view of all the epics that maybe are uh, under your domain or maybe you are responsible for or maybe let us say if you are following safe maybe you want to know for me for for my quarterly release if i have let us say 10 epics how many stories are there like a normal count right so in this video i mean like always i don't really want to over over complicate things but i just want to give you this very simple example so you can take it forward so what we will do we'll list the epics so we also made a video where we listed the epics with the status of those epics and of course that was a drillable expandable view now in that particular list which i can show you straight away if i go to the dashboard and if i go to the go to my agile dashboard so this is my list of epics now good thing about this view is that you can expand or expand let us say this uh, this epic and here you can actually see that we have 14 items under this epic now these 14 items could be stories it could be subtasks it could be any anything right which is fine probably fine but we want to focus on stories and good thing about this table is that you can have like individual you know issues details like issue created date original estimate field story points hours spent and so on right so wonderful report and a lovely report what we'll do we'll do something similar but uh, we'll present the information and focus on uh, only the stories so let us go to the source not source data analyze and uh, go to all projects and i will click on new report so let us drag the issue right something similar to what we were doing but we all, on, only want to focus on the epics just like previously just like the report that i showed you so select here epic so we have all these epics right and we have uh, epics with the number of issues which is great now what we want to do is we actually want to know the count of uh, the stories under it now if you drag your issue type to the pages on top like a filter what you can do is you can actually select the story uh, in the list so you can go to search and bookmark right and try to search for the uh story here so by name select story right and click on it and then uh, let us take a look at the total total of uh, rows maybe total of rows and column and we have 59 now if i go to my jira instance and if i do the same like a equivalent version of this query Uh, we have 59 issues right 59 uh, stories but good thing about this particular report is that it is not really showing you the list of stories it is actually showing you the list of or the count of stories under those epics so this is something that you may want to do maybe in your scope of course you can have more like on top you can have maybe a project uh filter and focus on let us say the android project so you have the list of uh, android projects epics along with their stories right so if i go back to my or if i basically select all project now what we may want to do is we may want to also know the breakup of uh, these stories by the status right so what we can do is we can actually uh, drag the status and maybe use it here or maybe yeah i think let us keep it on top and uh, we can actually click on this and uh, maybe we can expand it uh not by category i actually wanted to expand it by name right so what we can do is uh maybe 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 i will just uh, select the all statuses and uh, i'll click on this this expand here and i'll hide this column 
right? So this is something that you can very, very easily do. Now we, we just have all these statuses that we have, but this is of course slightly like, I mean, there are a lot of things happening here. There are a lot, lot of com like columns and rows that are empty, but fortunately there is a way to hide all the ro empty rows and columns. So you can do that. And this view is now looking wonderful, beautiful report. Uh, I may also want to freeze the header because why not? And now we have this wonderful view of the stories. Now by looking, I mean, doing these simple things is extremely important. Uh, now, if I'm a manager, if I'm looking at this report, to be honest, if I'm the person responsible for these epics, I know, okay, or maybe I can drive my calls, my stand-up calls, or you know, my, my progress update meetings by looking at this report. So straight away, I know that, okay, uh, first of all, of course, we have a lot of stories without an epic, which is probably not good. So something to fix. At the same time, I know that if I have to launch my Android app, uh, of course, you know, one of them is, or two of them are to do in to-do status and two of them are in resolve status, resolve status. Good thing about this report is that you can always drag the columns. So maybe you want to bring or move your resolved to the, uh, not here, sorry, not here. You can do that uh, when you have these individual columns, so not here, but there is a way to do this, do it as well. So you can actually always create uh, your own, uh, um, uh, you can always define this uh, member, calculated member here. And when you define this calculated member here, you can actually then, uh, uh, you can then basically create a, like, like a aggregated version of it with all these statuses that you want. And I have covered this. So you can actually click on the delete or not delete, but define a new calculated measure and do something like aggregate. So I, I made this, I made, I made this video. So uh, you can then select, I believe uh, status dot open. So all the statuses, statuses that are relevant in case you want like some kind of order. So starting with, of course, open, and maybe you want to have uh, open and then maybe resolve. Let me just show you um, story status, right? So what this will do, this will actually only show those two statuses, not uh, all of them. Of course, we, we have these all like the, the, the other columns that you can probably remove, but you will have basically your order that you want um, here. So I'll probably, okay, so, so there is no like open. So I'll probably use to do in this. Let us go to the member to do, right? I hope it is correct. Update and uh, let us now click on it one more time and I hope it works. I'll probably remove it from here and uh, click on the plus sign here. And okay, let me try one more time. I hope the status name is correct to do it was to do right. Come on, where is my to-do status? I don't know where is my to-do status, but the point is that what you can do is you can always uh, uh, list it like this. And uh, I'll probably just remove it. Sometimes you just have to remove it to make it work. Let me bring the status one more time. And uh, I have here to-do, what is this to-do SN? I have no idea to be honest. Okay, let me bring maybe done. Let us see if it works. Resolved. Come on, please, please work. <laughs> All right, update. Okay, let me just click on the all status first. So we have everything, hopefully. Uh, so resolve and done are now coming. It's, uh, it's, you have to basically, you know, sometimes it can be a bit struggling thing to do to make it work. Okay, I, I hope it works. Yeah, somehow it works. So, so I, I, I guess you understand um, the concept here. Resolved and done. Yeah, so you can actually change the order here if you want. So this is something that you can do. I'll probably get rid of this and uh, bring back the all status. So you have everything to look at. Uh, and uh, come on, I'll just remove it. It's, let me bring it back. And uh, come on, this is really, really strange. All right, so something like this, if I remove the all status here, remove. So basically what I, what I was trying to say is that you can always, you know, define before you, you start using it. If you want some, some kind of order, some kind of an order in your report, 
uh, when you talk about these, these columns. And if and if these columns are not listed individually, then you can uh, like if, if there is like if there are two majors, then you can definitely move them yourself. That will only work when you have majors uh, with different uh, uh, properties listed here that you may want to select in the column. But this particular view, this particular table is actually now uh, giving us this ability to track the work. Um, list stories under epic, right? So this is this is like a beautiful view, a beautiful board that you can create. All right, that is that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about. What I will do now is uh, I will also show you how to do the same thing, how to create the same report using, uh, like for example, these these statuses are com coming from the major, uh, but you can always define your own major to basically just display maybe open to do. Uh, good thing about that particular approach is that uh, you can do some calculations on top of it. You may maybe you want to count the number of uh, open issues or closed issues. There are other ways of doing it. M a much simpler way would be to create that aggregate uh, member and then uh, use a, or, or, or then of course, you know, create maybe two of them. I think I did create one video where I, dif where I discussed and showed you how to categorize or group your multiple statuses because uh, you may have a lot of statuses in your report, but you just want to focus on, let us say, how many of those, those statuses are open how many of those statuses are uh, closed, right, or done, completely done. So you can you can also do that. But I will not talk about the measures, like how to, uh, because when you have measures, you have, it will actually give you a lot of flexibility and it will give you this ability to pick up things that you just want to show on the report based on a specific criteria, which is of course not possible using this approach. So we'll continue this journey of learning EZBI and uh, making the most wonderful report, the best set of reports and dashboards in our Jira instance. All right, that is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.